Hello friends, welcome to ASHA's IS Institute. This is our website asha.com. Here in resources, we upload previous year's papers. So you can see here in previous year's prelims papers, you can go to General Studies 1 2017 paper topic wise. This is a PDF which can be downloaded. This is the original paper, UPSC paper, and this is a topic wise segregation. And here is the answer key with detailed analysis. So we'll just do a quick discussion of the paper as well. So for paper one, you can see the questions as segregation is provided here. So in history, culture, there were five questions. Some were easy. Of course, one or two were difficult too. Ancient, one question. Medieval, there was one question. Modern, five questions. Decent enough. Geography from current affairs, one question. This was on Indian Ocean Dipole, which we have discussed in current affairs quite often. Then geography, map had seven questions on locations, on places. Then agriculture, there were four questions, two, three, even from current affairs, enam, etc. So they were easily attemptable. Polity, there were 22 questions. And many of them were very simple and obvious questions. Though in one or two, you may have ambiguity that which is the correct option. But otherwise, polity had maximum number of questions and the best solvable questions. So this was the savior, actually, polity. Then governance, there were six questions. On social, including on Zika, on health, there were four questions. Then social schemes, there were seven questions. This was the frustrating part. I know the paper has been frustrating for some of the students, for majority of the students, I should say. So this social schemes, there were very vague one of provisions also asked. So this was there. Economy, completely based on current affairs, nine questions, all could be solved easily. Then environment, biodiversity, there were seven questions. Few, of course, were difficult. Otherwise, many of them were easy and could be solved. Pollution, three questions. Climate change, two questions. On science and technology, there were five questions. Many of them, decent enough, could be solved. International organizations, there were six questions. And these were vague organizations. So this was the next frustrating part of the exam paper. So this is there. International affairs, current affairs, five questions. Current affairs, completely easy questions. So these were the 100 questions. Out of these 100, you can say maximum 30 questions could be, maximum 30 questions could be frustrating. But remaining 70 were good enough. Of course, it, it overshadows your difficult questions, overshadow the questions which you could solve. So overall effect is generally that the paper was not good, but the cutoff would be plus 100. So let's see what the, what the results come to. But anyway, you have to take it positively. If you are nearing 100, be confident and start preparing for it. If you are going below 100, then you should know that the chances are quite low. Still, you should prepare. Prepare from mains perspective. If it does not help you this year, it would help you the next year. But keep preparing because this is one crucial part of the years of the examination preparation which candidates waste. And wastage of this crucial time is not good. So please do prepare depending on your condition with respect to the cutoff. The questions which are asked from our coverage, current affairs coverage were around 35. So around 35 questions you could have easily solved because of the coverage. Plus if you add up 22 questions from polity and history geography questions, then they are significant numbers which you can easily could have attempted with simple preparation. Then history culture. So looking at the questions, history culture. This question specifically is a difficult question. There is no need to discuss as such. The explanation is provided here about each of the schools. The Buddhist schools are mentioned here. They actually mentioned here as Jain related aspects. Though this first statement, that's why it becomes wrong. So of course, this if you have done so in-depth study, it would have been possible. Otherwise, it's okay. You could have skipped this question. There is no harm. Second question is a very simple question. This is a culture question, which we have also covered in the papers in the current affairs discussion. So this is regarding Padma Pani, Ajanta Caves painting, the most prominent cave painting. So here you can see the, the 2nd March 2017 uh, current affairs. In this we have already covered, we had discussed mural paintings. So in mural paintings, we also discussed this Padma Pani. So here you can see it's shown here. So this was respect to Gopalpur murals painting in Orisha. If you, recommend, if you recollect, this was regarding the beach murals. So here, this we discuss Indian mural paintings. And of course, the prominent among them would come Padma Pani and Vajra Pani of Ajanta Kids. Then there were others also, Sita Navasal, which we saw here. So these were the paintings discussed here. So this was a very simple question, which you could have attempted 
based on this coverage also. Bodhisattva Padmapani is pending in Ajanta. So A is the correct answer here. Then this culture question again, here Vari Varkari, Varkari is in Maharashtra, Varkari sex. So you should know Santhals are from you know, Jharkhand and this region. So of course Santhals is not the correct answer. This is mismatched. So 3 is obviously wrong, you would know. So when 3 is wrong, then B and C are eliminated. From 1 and D, you have to decide. So 2 is wrong, you automatically come to know that 2 is incorrect. And for Chal Chaliha Sahib festival, if you know about this, that this is Sindhi's festival, then you can attempt. The 1 is the correct answer. Otherwise, you would have taken a risk and you would have, there would be 50% chances that you would have attempted it right. So this is there. Then famous Sun Temple of Konak. So again, Arasavali is not prominently known in news. This is one only the correct answer. But Amartantak, Omkareshwar are not Sun Temples. You should know about them. These are prominent temples and not Sun Temples. These are, uh, Omkareshwar is uh, dedicated to Shiva. So if you know that, then you can still come, come to know that 2 and 3 cannot be there in the answer. So then what you are left with is 1 only. So by elimination, you could have attempted this question. Then Manipuri Sankirtan, again, Manipuri Sankirtan, this is also has been done, you can see here, Manipuri. So this is a, uh, this is prominent because this is part of UNESCO intangible cultural heritage of humanity. So when you do culture, you have to do provisions which are there under this intangible cultural heritage. These are a very essential part of culture study. So if you have done culture, then you would have been able to attend Manipuri Sankirtan too. So this is also there. So symbols and drums are also used. So two statement is incorrect. Right. So right, it's all based on Lord Krishna's life. So the correct answer here is 1 and 3 only. B. Then in ancient, the one question which came was on Rig Vedic Aryans and Indus Valley civilization. So here the first statement, the, the Rig Vedic Aryans use coat of mail and helmet. If you are aware of this, great. Indus Valley people were not a fighting for fighter to tribe or community as such but Rig Vedic Aryans were so actually one statement is correct but then the second statement is Rig Vedic Aryans knew gold silver and copper whereas Indus Valley people knew only copper and iron now Indus Valley civilization if you have done basic history of ancient India then you would know that Indus Valley was a chalcolithic civilization and they did not know iron it was a bronze age civilization Rig Vedic Aryans knew iron so second statement is incorrect for sure. So again two become eliminated. So you have option between 1 A and C. 1 or 1 and 3 only. So 1 by default becomes correct. The third statement is about domestication of horse. There is no evidence of horse of Indus Valley people aware of this animal. So this is incorrect. There have been horse bones from Surkatada discovered. So if you are aware of that then you would know that 3 is incorrect. So your option again answer is A. So by elimination, you could have worked your way over this. Though the first statement may be new for many. I too did not know about this use of coat of mail and helmet. But the other two known can help you answer this question. Then next is history medieval. So this is the question on important seaport in the Kakatiya kingdom. So this is Motupalli. That depends if you are aware of it, great. Otherwise, if you have not done so much in there, then you can skip this question. There is no harm in that. Then in modern India, the question asked is on founder of Madras Mahajan Sabha. So these founders have been so prominently listed and are there in your spectrum book also that you would know about them. So this is incorrect, you would know. Surindranath Banerjee is founder of Indian Association is an important fact. If you know about this and you know two is incorrect, then still you could have attempted this question with knowing just these two things. So eighth question also. 2 is incorrect and 3 is correct. So 2 cannot be there in the answer and 3 is correct should be there. So it leaves you with B. Even if you don't know about A, first statement, you can mention your answer is B with surety. Then ninth question is a very simple question on history modern diarchy. So this is obvious. D is the answer. Butler committee of 1927. This too comes up in history modern. So this is on the relationship between government of India and princely states. So that is why D is the correct answer. Then Ryotwari settlement, again, Thomas Munro name is prominently associated with it and Lord Cornwallis is associated with permanent settlement. So one is not going to be there in the answer, only that also leaves you with two and three. So this is also simple. Then this is a chronology question, though not asked in UPSC for long, but this is not a difficult question at all. 
the second the three round table conferences actually took place before after the civil disobedience movement launch so just after civil disobedience movement was launched this took place so that was after 1930 1931 around it started so that second round table conference was around that time mutiny of royal indian navy took place just before independence and quit india movement is 1942 so you can know 3 2 1 that is the correct sequence so it's a very simple question actually they are far apart in events they are not very closely related there should be no confusion as such if you are aware of history events then geography the one question was on indian ocean dipole which we have discussed quite often which was a very simple question then in maps the question is on teesta river so teesta river had been prominently in news we have also discussed it in current affairs so you can see here the file which is the page which is there on river teesta so river teesta flows in west bengal the map is also shown here so you can see this is the map here so when teesta river the question actually says that source of river teesta is same as that of brahmaputra but it flows through sikkim now how can that be possible you can see the source of teesta is here and brahmaputra flows through arunachal pradesh and then comes here so source of teesta and brahmaputra cannot be the same you can see they are on opposite sides actually so this is one question and then the one statement which is of course wrong then the next statement which is given here is that river rangit originates in sikkim and is a tributary of river teesta so this you may or may not know about it so second statement we can keep on hold the third statement is river teesta flows into bay of bengal on the border of india and bangladesh so it flows into bay of bengal and but is it on the border of india and bangladesh is the question it's not on the border of india you can see this is the border this is bangladesh so the two meet here on the border and then it flows through bangladesh and then it drains it does not drain at the border means it's not somewhere here like this this is also the border of india and bangladesh so it's not rishta river flowing here it's flowing meeting flowing through bangladesh then drain not flowing into Bang bay of bengal where it is meeting so that is why third statement is incorrect right so one is incorrect and three is incorrect when you know these two things and or two only is the correct answer is obvious so there is nothing difficult in this question too though you don't you may not even have heard of river rangi the next is mediterranean sea so mediterranean sea border country so here also this was a question asked so this also we have done mediterranean sea quite often and you should know the nations so jordan here you can see is land locked it cannot border so jordan is here and iran iraq are on the other side so they do not come into picture only so here the answer will not have jordan and iraq one and two so answer is c three and four then geographically closest to great nicobar so these are all mapping questions map based questions if you have studied and looked at the map you would know so you can see great nicobar the closest is indonesia so the sumatra island of indonesia is the closest so here the answer is a then next is regarding link between eastern and western ghats so this here again answer is a satyamangalam tiger reserve so actually nilgiris Biosphere Nilgiri is is well well known, but this is specifically in Nilgiri Satya Mangala Tiger Reserve, which is of significance. So this may be a question which all may not be aware of, but it's fine. You may skip it or two, or you can take a risk. So if you may be completely unaware because all are from the south, so you can skip this question too. There is no harm. You can skip few questions. The next is. In India, Himalayas are spread over five states only, and Western Ghats are spread over five states only, and Pulikat Lake. So these are the three statements given. So again, you should know that in across how many states Western Ghats is there, and across how many states do we have the Himalayas? So Himalayas, you can see the states starting from Jammu and Kashmir, going till northeast Arunachal Pradesh. All the states would come under it. So it has seven states under it. So Himalayas is not comprised in, uh, in five states only. The only is also important here. And Western Ghats again, you can see it goes from Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Goa, Maharashtra, and even Gujarat. So Western Ghats has also been prominently in news. So if you have been doing that, then you would know about this also. So these two and Pulikat Lake is a famous brackish water lake. It's the large, second largest brackish water lake in India after Chilika Lake. So Pulikat Lake is shared between Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. So if you are aware of this fact, also you can easily attempt this answer. So this is B, three only. 
the 19th one also looks a surprising question if you travel from kohima to kottayam so kohima is in nagaland at least this basic fact you should know it's a capital of nagaland and kottayam is in kerala so minimum number of states within india which you would travel so you will have to go through the map the map in your mind that from northeast if you want to go to kerala so states which would come in between karnataka andhra either one at least you will have to traverse including the two states it's asking so one two here then andhra pradesh three orissa four west bengal five and then going to northeast so if you are going to nagaland so if you are aware of the map here so tripura assam nagaland at least three here three four five six seven so you can see nagaland to assam oh here you can go to west bengal also nagaland to assam you don't need to go through other northeastern states the distance does not matter so you go from nagaland assam to west bengal three then orissa andhra pradesh and either of the two five and six and this is the seventh one kerala so in seven traversing seven states you would reach your destination so here the answer is b then 20th one again this is chandipur where the sea is seat so if you are aware of this fact great you would know chandipur is an important site even for integrated test range for drdo so if you are aware of this fact of chandipur you could have easily attempted it's a prominently known fact chandipur that water recedes here and sea floor becomes visible you can walk on the sea floor. that happens twice a day then agriculture related questions on water conservation so this is obvious simple questions are mentioned in ncert textbooks also zero tillage gypsum applying gypsum crop residue so this is an obvious question answer is d soil health soil health card scheme was a scheme launched presently so of course soil health card will help in what it will not help in irrigation soil health it will see the soil health so it will check the overuse of fertilizers that what the soil is the quality of the soil based on which what what you should apply so that is 3 is the correct answer it is not for you know quantum of loans to be granted so all that is not part of it soil health cards are for this purpose only then nam national agriculture market so nam again has been prominently in news we have done this question so this is again 23 the answer is c we have also discussed it quite often not once but quite often questions which we have you know prominent things are there which we have discussed quite often actually so here the answer is c then 24th one genome sequencing genome sequencing also we have done so with respect to agriculture the the application of genome sequencing so of course it's a step ahead on application of genome sequencing but a simple understanding will also help you in getting the right answer or you can even take a risk here it doesn't harm then polity questions very simple elections to lok sabha who can elect file a nomination paper any citizen no if you can be a resident of any whose name is coming in the electoral roll can stand for elections so 25 the answer is c 26 again it's first past the post system for election to lok sabha state assembly you don't need 50% of the votes also and the speaker's post goes to majority party and deputy speaker this can be by convention but this is not mentioned in the constitution so here again the answer is obvious it is d either one not two then next is right to vote right to vote and be elected so universal adult suffrage is present in the constitution and you are given the provisions that you can be elected in india you what are the minimum qualifications required so of course when it's mentioned in the constitution then it can be called a constitutional right right even if it's as per a statute then statutory right also means that it's part of the constitution is also a statute so even if you call it a statutory right it's same it is correct right then this is regarding election commission you should know it is a three member body if you have studied polity you would know about it that it is three member maximum three members there were first ones also one comprising of only one member and it's not union ministry of home affairs it's election commission of india only which decides the election schedule right and dispute splits mergers this we have already seen with respect to samajwadi party also allocation symbols splits etc they are disputes resolved by election commission then judicial review so judicial review what does it mean this also out of the four it's obvious that it is with respect to the power of the judiciary to to not to question the wisdom of laws so this is an extreme state statement given so it is not question the wisdom of the laws it does not review all the legislative enactments also it reviews its own judgment but that is not judicial review 
this is the answer, correct answer. Constitutionality of laws and executive actions is reviewed. That is A. Then not necessary with president's rule comes in a state what is not necessarily a consequence. State legislative assembly can be put in abeyance. Hang, hung as such. It need not be dissolved. Council of Ministers will have to step down because execution goes in the hands of the president. So, three is obvious, but one and two is not necessarily to be implemented. Then, 31 is regarding rights against exploitation in the Constitution of India. So, rights against exploitation are traffic and employing children. Right to uh, abolition of untouchability is right to equality, under right to equality, and this is right to freedom of religion for minorities. So, one and four is under, under right against exploitation. Right, so answer is C. Then 32, this is regarding cabinet form of government. So why, what is the basic principle, why a cabinet form of government is formed? So why it's not to minimize criticism, such such statements are obvious wrong statements. Uh, then the next is strengthening the head of hands of the head of the government. We don't need a dictatorship. So that is also not the correct answer. Speeding up the activities of government. As such, so cabinet form will speed up activities. No, there are so many undertaking different aspects, but then the correct answer is C, ensuring collective responsibility of the government to the people. Then, not a feature of Indian federalism. So, this is Indian federalism will mean powers divided, independent judiciary, unequal representation in Rajya Sabha. You may think what is this, but then finally, the last statement is not a result of an agreement among federating units. This is not a feature of Indian federalism. This is a feature of US federalism. That they have agreed to come together and they can de decide to opt out also. But in India, it's not on the basis of an agreement. All states are undisputable parts of India. Indisputable parts of India. Then uh, regarding fundamental duties, this is a question which may have a little ambiguity because the statements are so vague. A legislative process has been provided to enforce this duty. So, this is not something specifically provided. Fundamental duties, some of them have been implemented through a law. For some, it is there. But it's not that a legislative process has been provided. And second is, they are correlative to legal duties. Now, legal duties are binding, legally enforceable. But fundamental duties are not legally enforceable. So, how can they be related to that? So, that is again a question asked. So, here, my, according to me, the answer is D. Then not embodied in the preamble. So if you know the text of the preamble, you would know it's liberty, liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith, and worship. So economic liberty is not mentioned. So B is incorrect. So that's why B is the option. Then democracy is superior virtue. Again, reading the statements, you would know. You don't want dedicated party workers. You don't want superior individual and dynamism vision. It's democracy. Democracy is common men. So, methods of strengthening executive leadership, we don't want a dictatorship. Again, a similar statement. Intelligence and character of ordinary men and women call, are called into activity. So, this A is the correct answer. Then, main advantage of parliamentary form of government. So, parliamentary form of government as against presidential actually. So, here what is the main advantage is that executive and legislature work together. So, work independently is actually in presidential form. Head of the government cannot be changed without election is there in both. Executive remains responsible to the legislature. This is there in parliamentary form. And they work independently in presidential form. So C is the correct answer. Continuity of policy and means oh, is more efficient. So that is more efficient for sure. There is no such claim which has been made. And continuity of policy again is through the permanent executive, the civil services rather than parliamentary form. Then 38 is Correct relation between rights and duties. So again, this, this statement is given. Rights are correlative with duties. Are personal rights are personal. Now you cannot say rights are personal. There are limitations on rights. Hence, independent of society and duties is incorrect. Rights, not duties are important, or duties, not rights are important, is both incorrect. Both are important. So rights are correlative with duties. They go hand in hand. Right? Then 39th is. Mind of the makers of the constitution is reflected in the preamble. This is a very obvious question which you would study when you start studying politics. So 39 is A. Then 40, Parliament of India exercises control over Council of Ministers. So these are parliamentary procedures. All three other questions can be asked to the Council of Ministers. 
then private members bill we have this this also we have done in current affairs private members bill as such which have been introduced in the house there are 14 private members bills which have been passed also in the parliament and put into it so this is a bill this also we have discussed it's a bill presented by an mp who is not part of the ministry who is not elected but only nominated it's not private member means not only nominated members in lok sabha there are only two nominated anglo indians the private member is all, all those who are not part of the ministry MPs who are not ministers are private members. Then implications of equality in society. If you want equality in society, then it will result in absence of privileges. There are, nobody has privileges. All are equal. Ideology should be there. Competition, restraints, restraints have to be there. Even on fundamental rights, there are restraints. The answer here is A, privileges. 43 directive principle. This is a factual question. 42nd amendment introduced some directive principles and B is one of them. You should know. 44, which statement is correct? Rights are claims of states. Again, this is an ambiguous statement here. So, rights are claims of the state against the citizens. Rights are not claims of rights are given to the citizens actually. So, rights are privileges. Again, you can't call them privileges because there are restrictions on them. Rights are claims of the citizens against the state. So, this of course C is the only one remaining there. So, C is the correct answer. Few citizens against many, of course, D will not be the answer. Then local self-government can be best explained as an exercise in its democratic decentralization. This is also an obvious answer. Democratic decentralization means establishing local bodies. Then... 46 is again regarding DPSP, Directive Principles of State Policy. So, they constitute limitations upon whom? Legislative function or executive function? Now, directive principles you know are non-justiciable. Then how can they have limitations on anybody? They are, they are non-justiciable. So, they are, the answer here should be D. Neither one not. Right? Then next is governance. In governance, the first question is on cyber security incidents. So this is prominent with respect to one cry attack which took place. So all three actually have to be have to report on cyber security incidents. So this is there as per the law in India. So that is mentioned here. You can see the cert in is the is the authority which has been established and has been made uh, obligation mandatory under income tax in, under Information Technology Act to report incidents of cyber attacks. Then next is regarding BIS. So standard mark of BIS is mandatory for automotive tires and tubes. So this is actually current affairs of 2010. It was in 2010 that it was made mandatory. When a question is asked on it right now, it's not expected that you would know about it. So of course, such kind of questions are there. They disturb you, they frustrate you, but it's okay. You just have to skip them, right? So egg mark. Another one is EGMAC. This was obvious. It's not of FAO. It's an Indian organization. FAO is international body. So EGMAC is by Directorate of Marketing and Inspection. Then next is regarding national intellectual property rights policy. So, and this NIPR policy was recently announced by the government. So it, that the statements were that the Doha Development Agenda Commitment, Strips Commitments are reiterated. And DIPP was made the nodal agency. So if you can recollect this knowledge information of them, then you will be able to solve this question. The answer is obviously C. Then Quality Council of India, again, is again a factual question. If you are aware of this, which is a very least possibility that people will be aware of this, that chairman is appointed by prime minister on recommendation of the industry to the government. So it may be a little difficult. So you can also put this in that difficulty level questions and you can skip it. And you don't have to have a hard burn on why such a question has come. It's okay. UPSC will ask such questions. Let them. Then next is Smart India Hackathon. So say Smart India Hackathon was held recently all across in various uh, you know, country, in various cities as such for finding new digital technology innovations to solve the problems of the country. So here two is the correct statement actually. Then prohibition of Benami Property Transactions Act. This was also prominently in news. We have also discussed it. And this is an obvious simple question. So your A is not treated, not treated as Benami Transaction if owner is not aware. So of course this is incorrect. So one is of course incorrect. So you are left with two or two and three only. So two is correct. 
confiscation by government will take place and the act provides for three authorities for investigation but does not provide any appellate mechanism so this is obviously incorrect there is an appellate mechanism too you can see here it is mentioned so the the adjudicating authority and appellate tribunal both have been established under this binami property act then next is social schemes so here again monosodium glutamate you should know ajinomoto this is there in chinese fast food so this is correctly matched lipstick contains lead this has been known for years and for long so this is also known soft drinks contain brominated vegetable oil so this is a controversial part again this has been banned in india since 1990 so now if brominated vegetable oils is not a concern it's banned but yes yeah, soft drinks do uh, you know use it in their drinks so this is again a question as if you are aware of it great otherwise it's fine it is fine there are many questions which will help you score let there be such few questions then 54 zika discussed quite often very much in news and it's obvious the questions sexual transmission also we have seen is possible we had discussed regarding world health organization advisory to so this is also correct and it's transmitted by same mosquito as that transmits dengue and chikungunya aedes aegypti how many times we have done this so this is of course c then 55 again a weak question if you are aware of it great otherwise it's okay 56 again if you are aware great otherwise it's okay it's okay this is regarding factories act and trade disputes act of british era right which of course are applicable even today but if you are aware of what these acts specifically called for great you can go ahead attempt the questions then social schemes the frustrating part comes here so national skill qualification framework is been questioned here so if you are aware of it you should know it's for formal as well as informal learning so it is it's certification for both and outcome expected is the mobility between vocational and general education so that is correct so 57 you can see the answer is b so formal and informal is mentioned so you can see that these are the words competence only through formal learning so if only would not be there still it would be correct through formal learning is also there but informal is also there is important so since informal has been eliminated they have mentioned such words so when there are such words coming in the statements or questions you should be alert and think whether this is correct or not think hard think double think twice thrice so this of course is incorrect because you know only makes it also the probability of it being incorrect increases significantly of course in some cases it may be correct too so here the answer is b recognition of prior learning scheme so this is again a 58 a scheme under the skill india program also pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana so this recognition of prior learning is also a provision so this was a question on that so what is it for so prior learning so this is a, so this is certifying the skills acquired already acquired so that is the purpose of this scheme so of course this is also a vague one of question because not specifically on the scheme but some part of the scheme so it's okay it will be frustrating the national career service again is a question as so national career service you can see it was launched in july 2015 so in 2017 if they are asking you 2015 question then you can only decide what is expected from you Vidyanjali was a June two thousand sixteen scheme. This was launched Vidyanjali Yojana. Then Unnat Bharat Abhiyan. This also was a scheme launched in two thousand fourteen. So the question is in, in asked presently. So two thousand fourteen scheme being asked presently. So whatever schemes have been launched, they become important and stay important. So this is a question asked here. The national pension system has been very much in use, but this is a question in still a little more depth. because it is applicable for indian citizens resident or non resident so that is why a becomes incorrect pension age is also not 21 to 55 but i think 18 to 60 so that pension age also is more you can see 18 to 60 years so that is also incorrect then all state government employees joining the service after the date of notification by respective state government so it's there for private sector public sector all open to all and all central government employees including armed forces so it's not for armed forces actually so d is incorrect so that is why c becomes incorrect it will apply to state government employees they will have to bring in notifications 
Then National Nutrition Mission, again an old scheme. You can see it was launched in 2003. So this is a scheme on which a question has been asked. So that's that's why these are frustrating. But again, this may have been eliminated because you know nutrition, Ministry of Women and Child Development is related to malnutrition, women and you know children. So in that case, poultry eggs would not be there for sure promoted. So pure veg. So four is incorrect. Actually, three is also incorrect. So in that case, the answer is one and two. But it's okay. If you can't attempt it, skip it. It's okay. 64. Now economic questions come. Very simple questions. NIIF discussed quite often. It is not an EPIO organ, of course. You should know about it. It's not 4 lakh crore, but 40,000 crores. 2020 joint venture with private sector. So this is there. Then S4A scheme discussed quite often. So this is also for reworking financial structure. So the options are given here too. It's not part. Insolvency and bankruptcy court came presently. We have been discussing presently so often. So this is 2016 code. This is a very old scheme, older than that. So that is why it still continues. It's for B. And 66 is regarding liberalization, post-liberalization. So what has happened? Of course, share of agriculture and GDP has not increased enormously. Enormously, again, is a trigger word. You should be alert whether this is correct or not. India's exports in world trade, okay, increased. FTL flows has increased. Three is for sure. Forex reserve had gone quite low. That's why we had brought in liberalization. So they have increased enormously. This is correct. So here enormously is correct. So you can see 4 is for sure correct, 3, 4 are for sure correct. So it's 2, 3 and 4. 1 is incorrect. Then NPCI discussed quite often, rupee, NPCI, promoting financial inclusion. Both are correct. We have done quite often. Then GST, of course done. Many often we have done. So this also here, the other statements given that it will drastically reduce current account deficit. How would it reduce current account deficit? This is with respect to trade. This is nothing like that. Drastically is again a trigger word. Enormously increase growth and size of the economy, Indian economy. It overtakes China in the near future. So again, this statement is incorrect. So this is exaggeration, right? So one is the correct statement. A. Then next is in the last decade. Tax revenue as a percentage of GDP has steadily increased and fiscal deficit has also steadily increased. So fiscal deficit, we saw it has decreased and then, uh, you know, it had increased post-global financial crisis. So in the last decade, you cannot say it has steadily increased and same for tax revenue also. So here the, uh, you know, the figure, the graph is also provided. So you can see this is the tax revenue as percentage of GDP. So it has been fluctuating, not steady. And this is regarding the fiscal deficit also. It has also been fluctuating, not steady. Means increasing, decreasing, increasing and so on. Then 70th question. Small finance banks, they had also been in news. So they provide credit to business, small marginal farmers. Right? So even young entrepreneurs will be encouraged. So here. Set up a business particularly in rural areas. So, small finance banks are not for particularly in rural areas. So, again, particularly statement becomes a catch. That then it becomes incorrect. So, it's not for particularly providing credit to particularly in rural areas. Then UPI, we have discussed quite often. So, this UPI scheme has also been a question asked. Digital currency will totally replace. Again, totally replace. Incorrect. FDI inflows will drastically increase. Incorrect. Direct transfer of subsidies to poor will become very effective. So, direct transfer of subsidies to poor will happen. But implementing UPI is beyond that also. So, it will not. UPI scheme means all banks you will have this on the same. So, you yeah. know. So, mobile wallets will not be necessary for online payments. All banks transactions you can do only through one interface. UPI. Then. This is Monetary Policy Committee. So again, it's not a 12-member body. It is six-member body. Three from RBI, three from government. It's not reconstituted also every year. That is not there. Then functions under chairmanship of RBI governor, not union finance minister. So this is also we have discussed quite often. Then biodiversity-related questions. So gharials, the crocodile, found in Chambal River only. Then M stripes. This is also an old, uh, you know, scheme as such. You can see M stripes. It was launched in 2010. So 
M strikes has been asked, so it has not come very much in news. So it's with respect to maintenance of tiger reserves. So you can take, you could have taken a risk here. Then schedule one of wildlife protection act. So tortoise so no longer exists in wild. That is not there in schedule one. Endemic ko schedule one means that schedule one is for protection. So if it's not in the wild, then what protection? Wildlife protection act. So B is incorrect, C is incorrect. So both B and C nah, it's only same level as pre. Tiger is also in schedule one. Tortoise would also be in schedule one. That. Then seventy six cannot be hunted by any person except under special provisions. So few animals we know had been declared vermins and could be hunted. So others cannot be hunted. So these three are not among them. So this also we had discussed quite often. Those vermins, the pig, as such, the monkey species, those were there. So these gharials, Indian wild as wild buffalo, all three cannot be hunted. So the answer here is D. Then this is regarding lions. So this is also an old project, translocation of lions. So this will go to Kuno Palpur Wildlife Sanctuary. So this had come a news a bit. This, but this was very prominently news when Narendra Modi was the CM of Kuja. So he was completely against having Asiatic lions transferred. So this has been pending for long, the proposal. Then traffic. Again a question. You may or may not be aware of this. So this is under UNEP and to ensure that trade is not a threat to conservation of nature. So this is, again, you see traffic is not under UNEP, but it's under IUCN and WWF. So maybe you may go wrong here. So it's okay, or you can skip it. It's fine. Then again, a question on huge fall in population species of, species of butterflies. So again, here, pollination could be adversely affected in some plants. So butterflies are pollinating agents. So, of course, this can be possible. So, in, it says it could be the likely consequence. So this could be. There could be drastic increase in fungal infections of some cultivated plants. Now, fungal infections, kaise hoga? drastic increase. This is again vague. And lead to fall in population of some species. So, there is food chain. If some well, species is lost, then there will be effect on other species as well. So, this is a vague question. But yeah, the answer said is to be 1 and 3. Then biological oxygen demand, we have done quite often again here in detail we have discussed this. So this is regarding aquatic ecosystems, pollution as well. Then this is again a weak question. If you are aware of this international initiative on climate change, then you would, climate pollution, etc. You would know about it. Otherwise, it's okay, you can skip it. But yes, this question has been asked. It's okay, 20, to 20 questions you can easily skip. And in a few questions, you can take a risk. You are supposed to leave few questions. A lot of attempt is also not good. There will be some questions which you have to skip. And these are some of those questions which you are made to skip. It's okay. Right? Then this is regarding bioremediation. So bioremediation also has been discussed. This is a question on that. Both this second statement that heavy metals such as cadmium and lead can be readily and completely treated is not correct. These are not completely and readily treated. Then climate change, again, this is a global climate change alliance initiative of European Union. That is true. Here again, the third statement may be a little vague. You may or may not be aware of it. It's incorrect, actually. So, again, you may skip it. As I said, it's okay. It's okay. Then this is regarding anthropogenic emission of carbon dioxide. This is regarding carbon sequestration. So carbon sequestration also we have seen. But this is specific details provided here. So again, if you are aware of it, you can attempt it. And these are also a little can be done by guesswork. The all three are correct actually. That they can be carbon sequestration can take place in these sites. Then OLED. OLED has been prominently in use. So this is flexible plastic substrates through which it can be fabricated and then used in clothing and as transparent displays also. So all three are correct here. Then somatic cell nuclear transfer technology is science and tech obvious fact. This is used for cloning. Then E-ELISA, this E-ELISA project had also been prominently in news some time back, not recently. But this has been asked. You can see here. E-ELISA. So E-ELISA was in news, you can see as such. So, yeah. This is for gra detecting gravitational waves. 
in standard model also we have done quite often it's to understand the universe basic elements particles in the universe then biofuels this is question on biofuels also so though it's a detailed question so you may decide the explanation is given i would not be taking up a lot of time also then next is international organization global infrastructure facility so this again in international organizations was another frustrating part so these are also organizations which have been frustrating in in climate change and all this alliance then this coalition clean air coalition so these have been a little frustrating the kind of organizations and initiatives alliances which have been asked so this is not global environment facility which had been prominently in news and you would know about it this is global infrastructure facility this is a question asked on that so it's actually a world bank initiative so b is the correct answer then you and habitat a question on that also so this the answer here is either governments or local authorities only so again only is the trigger word here only nahi it can also coordinate with partner with ngos so that is also allowed so two is incorrect so answer is 1 and 3 then indian ocean naval symposium again 92 there is no link global infrastructure facility you can see was in news in 2014 un habitat okay october 2016 your habitat 3 was held fine then indian ocean naval symposium was also this first one was held in 2008 So this was also a question asked here. Nuclear Security Summit is fine. It was started by Barack Obama, so it's not under UN. It's under US Barack Obama. The Nuclear Security Summit, as said, the four ones, the fourth and the last one was held in 2016. So this was prominently in news. You would know about it. But the second part is International Panel on Fissile Material is an organ of IAEA. So again, the second part again you should know it was established in 2006. It's not under IAEA. It's an independent initiative. then this is again an organization it's okay skip it it's okay then digital single market strategy this is also and but this was held in december 2016 if people are telling you that pib related new questions have come then this was there on pib but then how much of pib also such facts would you remember and in so much depth you can see you know, so theme as such specifically has been asked So if you are going to study such facts for such one-off questions, it's not paying. You count them. Maximum there would be thirty such questions. It's okay. Skip thirty questions. Take some risk in ten out of them. Five to ten out of them. Remaining seventy are with you. That is enough. You don't need to change your strategy. You don't need to worry about anything. It's okay. You have to have the tolerance level. UPSC teaches you to tolerate. So this is also there. Then this next ninety-fifth question you can see. this was also part of europe 2020 agenda so if you are aware of it great attempt it digital single market strategy of eu and current affairs based questions next five the last five are very simple btia done so often it is of eu trade facilitation agreement we have done so often and so much in detail in feb 2017 also we had discussed that now it has come into force so it was not last year jan 2016 current affairs we have not even discussed so this is wrong three statement is incorrect jawahar port so often discussed domestic content requirement had also been prominently in news regarding jawaharlal nehru national solar mission so the us had dragged us to world trade organization dispute settlement also and global gender gap index as we have been doing indices and which organization brings them out it is world economic forum this is expected on the expected lines so these were the questions hope you did well even if you not attempted upsc 2017 you have to take a cue from this questions and prepare on these lines for 2018 it's very important previous years questions are very important and have to be rigorously understood and studied a complete detailed explanation file is also there you can go through it and prepare thank you so much